Hi everyone, this is Mom Loves AG Dolls 2, and today I want to do a comparison of this Disney Princess and Me Elsa doll with McKenna, the American Girl doll. Now, they are both supposed to be 18 inches tall, but as you can see, Elsa is actually a little bit taller than McKenna. Look at that. So I'm not sure what happened there, but moving on, I'm going to start with Elsa's beautiful face. Her face is absolutely gorgeous. Her um, likeness to her character is amazing. The lips, the nose, just everything is so cute. They did such an awesome job. The paint job is wonderful and the cutest thing are the eyes. Those eyes have a special name. I'm not sure what it is, but they are just gorgeous glass eyes. Beautiful. So compared to the American Girl dolls, you can see that the eyes are different and the face shape is totally different as well. Even though McKenna doesn't have the classic face mold, she does have what all the other American Girl dolls have, which is the cute little chubby cheeks and the cute two little teeth showing. And uh, Elsa here in uh, this face mold here does not. So she's really, really beautiful. I love her hair. And she's wearing a crown because she is the snow princess. So I'm going to go ahead and turn her around so I can show you the hair. Oh, and she does have earrings, which um, most American Girl dolls do not come with earrings. They do charge you extra. And her hair, in comparison to the American Girl doll's hair, is rooted. See if you can see it. The lighting in here is not so great. So this is not a wig, which is... Um, what McKenna has and all American Girl dolls have wigs. So this is rooted hair and it is a special type of hair also and it's very very soft and beautiful and again I'm sorry I don't know the name of what they call this hair but it's a really special type of hair. Now in the body um, the Disney Princess and Me are very very slim thin dolls compared to American Girl dolls which are thicker as you can see and also American Girl dolls have cloth bodies um, starting at their neck all the way down to their hips. This doll and the Disney Princess and Me dolls are all vinyl like Barbie dolls and um, they do have painted underwear which is a cute touch and what's cute is that this part up here pivots. Let's see if I can do this one handed. It's not easy to do but you can uh, see a little bit. So that's good for posing. So she'll pivot a little bit up here. And let me go ahead and close her up and flip her around. And I forgot to mention that her head also pivots. Her head can go up, her head can go down. It of course can turn side to side and it can even tilt. So that's also wonderful for posing. Her limbs are similar to American girls in that they are not articulated so all that they can do is go up and down just like American Girl dolls. The fingers are the same as American Girl dolls. The two middle fingers are connected and the other three are loose just like American Girl dolls have. See right there. And then this is her beautiful dress that they made. It's her beautiful princess uh, snow dress. And now you can also see their legs are so much thinner than American Girl doll legs, which are very, very thick. So to me, the American Girl dolls look like little girls, whereas these dolls to me look more like teenagers because they're very tall, very thin, and their bodies look uh, more developed than the little girl dollies. So this one would probably be considered a teen, but I think she is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, and for $50, you can't go wrong, but you can find her on sale like we did. We got her for $39.99, and she's available at Toys R Us and Target. As far as I know, those are the only two places you can find her. So compared to American Girl, she's more than half the price, so she's totally worth it. And I would recommend all these Disney Princess and Me dolls to everyone, especially Elsa, although at the moment she is hard to find. But if you are looking for her, you will not be disappointed when you get her. Thank you so much for watching this.